right and what is everybody today we're back again with a another video and today we are here with the new modern rifle pack and i guess we have some clothes to already start around so why don't we actually start off by just trying out the pistol on a sandboard here that's right next to us not really where i wanted to start but you know uh this is one of the new guns for the high caliber weapon pack and i mean how close was that that was like oh, why is it not letting me do it very close at least that was a very close shot with the pistol i have played with this i have enjoyed it a lot i'm currently baffled a bit uh intro <laughs> very good but anyways uh, what i want to talk about is first of all big thank you for ew for giving me early access for this um, there have been some major changes. We will talk through those as well in a little bit. But I want to start off, first of all, while we are here at the tent, just to quickly have a look at one thing that has been added that I think is really, really cool. And I already started messing around with it as well. And that is the new customization for the new binocular. See, I've kind of gone, gone with a little bit of a, a gold metallic look on mine. We're going to rock with that for today. But there is a bunch of other things you can do. And I'd love to see what you guys can come up with um but yeah let's let's get going here um and let's actually take a look at these guns i don't know quite how much we're going to be using these uh 10 gauge shotgun today but i do plan on streaming this weekend um at some point probably on sunday and then we're gonna go give these uh, this gun a little rundown and see how it works but if we get a chance i will use it we are mainly going to be focusing on the new pistol and the 300 that we got and then we also are going to talk a little bit about the 4570 if we get a chance for it. But with that being said, I mean, look at this. Sam Bardier did not run far with this pistol. And one thing that I will mention real quick as well, the max range for the 4570 rifle is 150 meters. It's 200 meters for the pistol. And it can shoot way further beyond that and still be very good. I have used it on the on like a 300 meter shot on something and it was very powerful not quite as powerful as this like this pretty much went right through that sandbar deer but they've made a change to this and i am really 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 liking this the one thing i have noticed and i don't really want to start this video off with a bad tent but i i did try this on rahanga on cape buffalo and i did try shooting a couple of them the issue still seems to be persisting with those but that could also just be because we are on a, like a different build so we'll have to see how that is on the live game but with that being said let's go hunt some emerald coast and let's give these new guns a rundown for their money now why don't we give the uh, pistol a little bit of a, a check down here we have a red deer about 200 out he's gonna probably get to 100 in a minute but if i just aim a little bit lower we drop him we freaking drop him i mean that is just great news and i'm sure all of you guys love to see that now i am going to run just a little bit so we can get a broadside angle on that red deer back there and then we're going to take a little bit of a long shot now i don't want to continuously shoot red deer in this but i think they are kind of a very good test for this since they are kind of in the middle of the uh weapon classes for uh the new 4570 pistol like sitting at class six right over there they actually have not changed they 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 did stay the same class range now if you haven't heard there is actually some new classes coming in for this uh so new classes new class changes coming in so some things have changed um and i'll pop a picture on that on screen real quick uh, so you guys can just pause that and see what has changed but i think overall pretty good changes uh, i haven't looked at it in detail but the things that i have looked at i thought were very good and made sense to me um, but yeah, as you can see, this was 167 meters. Still went through a good chunk of the of the neck there. Hit the neck, obviously that drops him. This is always going to be a kill shot if you hit anywhere on the neck. But as you can see, it, it has the power to get through there. It, it is definitely powerful enough. And I think, why, why, don't, why don't we actually give this gun a full rundown and try this out at a quartering shot at over the effective range because if you look at the actual bullet here it says the effective range should only be 75 meters so we are really 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 stretching what we should be able to do here but look as you can see he's already down to 50 75 so yeah it's powerful let's actually look if we 
maybe just got lucky and hit spine, but I do think that we did get a long shot there, and that's why that's going down so quick. But let me run over there, and then let's have a look. And well, would you look at that? A vital organ hit. That is incredible. Vital organ hit with a pistol at almost 300 meters. And look, that's how long it took to get that, uh, <laughs> that first drop in health. And I don't think he's going to run far at all. Look, yeah, he's still 50 though. Is that him up there? No, that's not him. Okay, let me go track this guy down. But we did get a vital organ hit, so that is incredible. So here we go, look. In total, this guy ran about 150, 160 meters from being shot at 300 meters. And, well, we did only get a single long hit. I mean, this is way, 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 way above, almost three times, a little over three times the distance of what the bullet is actually recommended for. And yet, it still did quite some damage to this guy. And let's look, what's the official tracking distance? Like, I don't think that's quite right, just because of where I placed that marker. That is pretty much right on where we shot him. So I think it's more like 160 meter that we actually tracked this guy that he ran, but that is still quite powerful. I should say this is not gonna be like a grinder's gun, but you know, it's something light to carry. It's not a heavy pistol that you have to take with you. That's gonna take up a bunch of space. Like it's, it's gonna be nice, easy. You can take with you. It's very fun to play with, but it's definitely not gonna be a grinder's dream if you will, but I think it's going to be fun. I think we're going to be definitely doing a challenge with this at some point, and we might even do something along that on the stream this weekend. Um, but let's talk about the, the elephant in the room, the grinder's gun right here, the 300, um, five shots. I've shot it a little bit. I haven't tested it too much, but from what I have, it was incredible. So why don't we go out, look for some more animals. We'll look for kind of what I would use this for, for grinds, for like red deer, and then we'll obviously go up to the proper levels of uh, what they're going to be, just because we currently are still in the drinking time. And then after this, we're going to go to some bang tang and go see how they fare against those kinds of animals, the more heavy class nines. And we'll also try out the 4570 and see how they fare against those animals. Now, I definitely didn't plan this, but <laughs> look what we have right over here. We have a piebald level seven red deer. That is incredible. That is absolutely crazy. I was actually going to come here, like I said, to show you guys how the 300 does on these red deer, just because I usually have a couple of red deer here to shoot. But it seems like we have a five and a big one over there now. So we're not going to use the 300 on him just because I think he does have gold potential. So why don't we go ahead and use the new pistol on him? He is pretty much exactly 200 meters out. So let's give this a shot let's hope i don't miss and let's hope that this guy's gold he definitely should be looking at that that rack on him that should definitely be a gold and yeah look at him he is dropping quick very very quick i'd be surprised yeah he's not even gonna run far and i actually still have some time um to also show you guys what the 300 can do so let's give that guy two shots let's look can we find another red deer that we can shoot at here real quick no, they're all going to run a little bit too quickly. But I don't think that other one should be down. But let's go pick up the piebald. I'm more interested in that. We're going to look at the 300 a little bit more in a second. But damn, piebald level 7. Let's have a look. Let's see what he is. And here he is. Here is our level 7 piebald. Oh my god, it's been such a long time since I've had a crazy looking rare red deer. But... He is gold at 203, and we double lung spine shot him at 181 meters, roughly. Wow, I, let's taxonize this. That is incredible. Look at that. Early access, and we get a rare. Oh, this is like a dream come true. Wow, 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 wow. This is absolutely incredible. Oh, my God. That just makes it even better. That is just incredible. Absolutely, absolutely incredible. But let's also go have a look real quick what the 300 did on this guy on the run here. And then I think we're going to move on to some Bantang just to actually check out some of those higher animals as well to see how we fare against those. But damn, that's incredible. You do not know how happy I am right now that we freaking got a piebald. <laughs> 
Oh, that is incredible. Look at that. We hit intestine twice. And this guy did not run far at all. So I think this is going to be my new uh, grinding gun and replace the 300 Magnum. Wow. Pie vault, pie vault, pie vault. That is incredible. Now here's actually one of the quick things you can see. So now um, boars and hogs and pigs, all of them have actually been changed to class five. They used to be class four. Uh, I just thought I'd throw it in real quick so you guys can actually see that that is in action. And also for the pigs, not only uh, for the other animals, but at the same time, here are some lovely, lovely, lovely Bantang. And I think you guys have wanted it and are waiting for it to see this. So. Why don't we go ahead, pick out the male back there, pull out the 300, and let's see the kind of damage we can do. Yeah, he's dropping pretty quickly. Very, very quickly. There we go. Yeah, he's going down relatively quickly. So, yeah, the 300 is doing what the 300 should be doing. And I think, like I said, I think this is going to be a great gun for anybody that's going to be wanting to grind or just want something more powerful for, you know, with more ammo for the big game. Um, that I think is what this is probably going to mainly be used for, but, you know, for me as a grinder, that's, that's really what I think I'm going to use this for. I'm going to use this for like red deer grinds and grinds of that nature, just because I think it's going to be really useful, really handy. And with the extra two bullets in comparison to the normal 300, it's just gonna make my life so much easier and so much more enjoyable. Now where is, oh, there's a Bantang right there. Um, he's not gonna be fleeing very quickly. So if I can get him to turn, why don't we see if we can test the 4570 on him and see what kind of capabilities that gun has. But I think he might be running a little way a little bit too quickly there for us to actually try something and i and i want to give this a realistic chance which is why we're not going to be shooting um past that far distance like uh, i really want to give the 4570 a uh, fair and competing chance um when looking at the uh, changes and giving you guys an actual representation uh, of what is going on but i think we might just wait for that level three to come into range a little bit closer and see what we can't do there or maybe even him Haha, uh -huh, look at that. Coming into place. Let's see. Could you maybe not turn right next to the tree? There we go. Alright, on the trot. That looked like a long hit. That was definitely a long hit. Let's give him a second one just for good measure. Just so we can kind of see both penetration angles from the front ones and from the side. And see kind of how we fare there. And compare that to the new 300. Which obviously the 300 should be more powerful, but... There were issues in the past to where the 4570, especially on Cape Buffalo, wasn't penetrating through very well. So, especially because it is a 4 to 9, so it should be eligible to kill these guys. So, let's go up there, let's take a look, and let's see how well we did. Alright, here is our Buffalo. We did get long on the first one, so rest your case. And from the front as well, we did go through quite a bit of meat there we didn't go through any bones but we still hit lung so hey it, it can at least hit a bantang from 150 meters away and pretty efficiently take him down i mean he didn't run far to be fair these guys are very slow but did a very good job taking out that bantang and i think there's definitely improvements there we're kind of gonna have to wait until more people test it out and we can just get more kills with it in general to really see um the effects here but from what I've seen so far, Cape Buffalo seemed to have been the only issue I was still having any issues with. The rest seemed to all be working relatively fine, but then again, I haven't shot too many things with it, and there could still be um, other issues that I am just not aware of. But from what I'm seeing, I'm liking what I see. And here's the other Bantang. Great single lung liver hit. Kind of what you'd expect. From that angle 250 meters out not too shabby of a gold bantang there and i think we'll finish it off with just one more bantang with the 300 um at maybe more of a broadside angle and see like we could have taken a lot more than just those two it's just i kind of don't want to get the male the females all out there i'd rather just want male respawns and yeah 
I think this, like I said, is gonna be a great, great grinding gun for sure. And look at that, these guys did not die far apart from one another. We did get both vital organ hits on them, if I saw it correctly. At least I saw uh, one for this one over here, the vital organ hit. But regardless, they did not run far at all. And let's have a look at that penetration. Yeah, look at that. We would have gotten double lung on that had we actually hit the lungs, but right into the, in the stomach and the uh, the lung there. So a very good hit. This second guy, we hit him twice just because he wasn't going down quite as quickly. But look at that penetration there on the first, on the second shot and the first shot. Very, very clean as well. Had we hit him a little lower, he might have been able to hit the heart, but hey. Regardless, this guy came down very quickly. Again, quick announcement, this is coming out on Tuesday. There will be a full bug fix list coming out on Tuesday, I assume as well. I don't have it yet. I only have what I've told you so far in the first video or this video right here. That's all the information I know. And just again, 4.99 coming out March 12th, 2024 on Tuesday. 499 euros and dollars respectively depending on where you are and you can kind of make that assumption of the price depending on where in the world you are around that but if you have any other questions concerns let them let me know down below in the comments let me know in general what else you want to see and if you want to see some more live action gameplay of these new check out any of the other partner creators as well and of course come by to our live stream which i suppose is going to be on sunday hopefully at some point in the af early afternoon and east